Hi everyone, this is Ms. Dietrich. We're looking at a question from the New York State 6th grade 2014 math exam. The question reads, which expression is modeled by the diagram below? They give us a number line and then they give us two bars that we're supposed to interpret as being one of these choices. Let's look at each choice. Choice A says 3 and 1 fourth divided by 3 fourths. The number that is on the left side of the division symbol is the dividend and what we might refer to as the starting number. The number that's on the right is how are we breaking up the starting number into what, how many groups, into what, what's going to be the size of the group. So if we take a look at choice A as an example and see if that's correct, let's see if this does indeed represent the starting amount of 3 and 1 fourths, which by the way is equal to 13 fourths. If we count how many fourths, see how that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fourths. So if we were going to rename this as an improper fraction, we would rename it as 13 fourths. If we were going to go through the algorithm for choice A, we would do keep, change, flip. Keep the 13 fourths, change this to multiplication, and change the divisor to its reciprocal. And we might even cross reduce by dividing by the GCF of a numerator and denominator, which in this case is 4, and get 1 here and 1 here. Can't do anything going this way. The GCF of these two numbers is 1. If we were going to proceed with finding the product, 13 times 1 would be 13, and 1 times 3 would be 3. If we rename this as a mixed number, we would take this number and divide it by this number. It's a 3, by the way. It would go in 4 times. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract it, the one left over, and we would get 4 and 1 third. Now the problem that people have is they take a look at the algorithm and they compare it to the picture and they say, well, wait a second, I got 4 and 1 third. The picture here shows 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 3 fourths, but this does not match the fractional piece here. And they're troubled by that. So let's explore why that might be and this still be the correct answer. If we take a look at Here's a group of 3 fourths, and we were to take a look at this, which is equal to 1 fourth, and we were to determine how many of those would we need to make up a group of 3 fourths. Isn't it a third? So let's just recap. If we're looking at choice A and we're believing that to be the choice, we have one group of 3 fourths, two groups of 3 fourths, three, oops, three groups of 3 fourths, four groups of 3 fourths, which is consistent with what we got doing the algorithm. And then we have this little piece here, which is really a third of a group of 3 fourths. Hence, making this correct. Choice A is the correct answer. If we look at the other choices and see if that makes sense, 3 fourths, so that's this group, divided into equal groups of 3 and 1 fourths, that's not at all what this model is showing. If we were to take 3, that's not what this model is showing, because 3, if I move these back into their positions here, that would mean the starting amount would be equal to this, and that's not what we have here, so that's off the list. And for 1 fourth, if we were starting out with 1 fourth, the starting amount would be one of these little pieces here, we'd be taking one of these and breaking that up into, into three groups. And that's not what we have at all here. So that confirms that choice A is the correct answer.